You know what? I was totally ready to rip this movie apart. And well, I might end up doing that actually. Watch Over Us, which starred a aging Sean Evans, some kind of pretty chick, and some other girl who was like 13, but sometimes she looks like she's 37, and sometimes she looks like she's 12, but she's like 13 sometimes, and other times she looks 34. Anyway, so Watch Over Us is about a family who is being haunted by some kind of devilish entity, I should say. This guy who is having some financial troubles and is in need of a job and is dating some people and all this other shit that I I really don't care about. Watch Over Us has got to be the longest hour and 10 minute movie that I have ever seen in my life. I could barely keep up with the pacing. It was just all over the place. I really couldn't get a sense of time. Some scenes would start, you know, in the dark and then later on it'd be daylight outside and it'd still be considered the same day and I just, I really couldn't just keep track. <laughs> and with that, I've got two very conflicting points because at the beginning of the movie, it moved at a breakneck pace. I, I kind of expected with it being an hour and 10 minute song, of course, so you had to just get the important plot points and introduce everybody, so on and so forth and then, but about 30 or maybe 40 minutes into it, it started to just slow down. I, 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 just, I just really wasn't interested in the writing. Uh, the, the, the script work was, was kind of horrible. The acting, however, was decent in parts except for the aging Sean Evans. Believe what I'm hearing. I, I, I got like a Nicolas Cage vibe going on there. Another thing that bothered me was any scenes that took place outside, they had a uh, like like crickets in the background, but it seems like the cricket sounds were like put on a loop, like a three or four second loop, so you'd hear the sounds and then it would pause, but like the pause made it seem like the audio muted in, in parts, and anytime it muted, no one was speaking, so I'm sitting there thinking that like there's something going on with my streaming. It wasn't, it was just the audio and it really broke immersion. Another thing that broke immersion, oh my God. I, 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 which was my, my biggest issue of all was the first time, you know, some real suspense was actually built in Liza's bedroom with the sound that she was hearing and then like you see the deity sort of form out of nowhere and then the choppy slow motion starts and it just took me out of it. I was actually getting kind of spooked. I, I can't sleep here tonight. Look at dad. Whoever to stop it. I'm serious. What's going on? And another funny thing, at this point, the lights in my bedroom started flickering. So that scared the shit out of me. So <laughs> maybe that's why I kind of don't really hate this movie is because some weird shit happened in my own room as weird shit was happening in the movie, but that's who and over there. The final maybe 20 minutes, it kind of got a little bit too funny. And just some of the more subtle things that I feel like just kind of just, it doesn't really mesh well with what they're doing here. And <laughs> I feel like some of the situations that were presented to the characters, they should have been taken more seriously. Just saying. I want to see this thing for myself. See if it actually shows itself. They kill whatever's in that barn. Who the hell knows? Elijah burned the barn down! Wait. So you're telling me that this thing could just go someplace else? Who the hell cares where it goes, Ken? Shit! Now that I'm done with the bad, here are some of the good that I like. Um, it's a very clever and creative plot. And I love the twist at the end. There's a lot of potential there, but it just kind of just squanders it. And before the movie actually ended, I was interested in seeing that there would possibly be a sequel just to see how everything would just continue in this family. But the way the movie ended, it kind of killed all want for any kind of sequel. Just, oh God damn it, man. I wish they would have did more with the premise. They had some, they, they had solid gold there. It's just some directing decisions and just how the writing it just was it was a fucking mess uh, let me just it was it was fucking horrible no matter how much i try to praise this movie i get 10 other reasons why i should fucking hate it and guess what i do oh my god i just don't get 
it. I, 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 why would you do this to us? Why, why would I do this to myself? You think I would have learned last week when I watched Alien Rain and Man. Now at this point you might think that I'm looking to watch bad movies and I kind of am. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, I got a new appreciation for the horror genre after watching Friday the 13th. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it's... Anyway, there's a movie called Dick Shark that's three and a half hours long, and I'm looking to cover that. I just can't really get myself to sit down in my spare time and watch a movie called Dick Shark for three and a half hours. I don't, I don't really want to commit to it, but knowing me, I, I will definitely stop in the future, but anyway. Watch over us. It's kind of recommended if you're blackout drunk. I don't know if you had to choose between like eating like a live mouse and watching watch over us uh, I hope the mouse is dark meat. Anyway, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up And if you send me a screenshot of you actually liking this video to any one of my social media links Which will be in the end card and down in the description box below I will follow you back on any and all of your social media sites and make sure to subscribe to join the Killer Countdown Clan. Just don't go burning any crosses now.